love the channel and find it useful in becoming a happy retiree. Subscribe today. We are headed to Mary, who joins us from Sewanee. Mary, good morning. What's going on? How can I help? Oh, good morning. Well, I'm calling that we have um, an adjustable um, mortgage, and they uh, you know, adjust it annually. According to the, I heard you mention the London LIBOR rate, and I'm wondering, is it um, is the London LIBOR way of calculating that better than maybe uh, refinancing with another company that doesn't use the London LIBOR? Well, the potential potentially yes, only because LIBOR has has just started to go up and and, and go it's it's going up in a relatively significant way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so LIBOR has jumped over a half a percent just recently. That means that and so many loans, Mary, are tied to LIBOR. Not just your. There's a lot of home equity lines. There are mortgages tied to LIBOR. Companies borrow money, so a lot of corporate money, corporate fixed income, that's tied to LIBOR. So as rates start to go up, you're, uh, and, and LIBOR doesn't necessarily go up just because the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates. There's some, uh, th- there's some other currents there. Part of what's happening with LIBOR is there's a ton of new supply of treasuries here in the U.S. So you can find a loan that's not tied to LIBOR, Mary. However, wherever you go, this is a little bit like a game of whack-a-mole. If you go to and switch to another interest rate, uh, then you might very well be in the same boat with rates going up. The bottom line here is that, in general, you got to expect and protect yourself from rising interest rates. Because whether, whether you use a LIBOR or Prime or any other index, you're probably going to see rates climb higher over the course of the next year or so. Hi, I'm Wes Moss, and thanks for taking a minute to hear about what's so different about my new book, You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think. So unlike other retirement books, this book will give you a step-by-step guide, whether you're in your 20s, or 30s, or 40s, or 50s, to learn from what these successful and happy retirees did to get there. I hope you enjoy the book, but more importantly, I know that it'll help you retire sooner than you think.